doing to everybody? I'm back with another bad video for you today. You know what it is? It's a fucking brand battle. You believe this shit? A brand battle. How did we end up with this? No more team talks. No more ding dongs. No more ling langs. We're going brand battle today. To go on it. Nothing but ninja throwing stars and fucking hatchets being chucked at you today. Fucking nothing good coming out of this one. Someone's gonna die at the end of the battle. It was like the battle of the great. I don't know what the hell. Anyway, we got a brand battle for you. It is going to be. The goddamn Bass Cat versus Phoenix. Bass Cat versus Phoenix. Kitty Cat versus Folks. Huh? Huh? No. Yep, I did that. You know it. You know I did it! I am fucking Folks! Here we go. Let's do this. Bass Cat versus Phoenix. It's the battle you've all been waiting for. We're laying it out like this. You ready? Performance, speed, build quality, fishability, ride, resale. Trailer quality and cool factor. I don't know how the hell you came up with cool factor, but I'll figure it out when I get there. Ready? This is a blank piece of paper. It's all coming off my head. Are you ready for this shit? I am like a midget with a case of fucking rippets in me right now. I got a lot of shit going on. Here we go. You ready? Bingo bongo. Let's do this shit. Neil, you coming up for this one? No. Neil's got the best hair in the world. The best hair in the world. Jason's still rocking the best beard. Jackson's rocking nothing but a nitro bass boat sitting in his garage next to another one that he can't sell because it says, it says nitro on it. He's finally swallowing the fact. Chad is still growing good hair. Here we go. I'm ready. Performance-wise, we go Bass Cat versus Phoenix. Depending on what we're saying here, I would say the Bass Cat wins this. They have some speed stuff that is out of this world. Um, they handle some big engines. Uh, Rideability-wise, the Bass Cat's probably got some pretty good ride compared to the Phoenix. I don't know. The Phoenix... Now we can compare 20 to 20, 21 to 21, is that what we're doing or we're just uh, battle to battle, just brand to brand? An average across the whole Across line. the whole goddamn line, from start to finish, no matter what we're running. All right, I got you. They're definitely going performance. Let's go, uh, are we, at performance, that's not fishability, that's just performance. That's big water, big waves, driving, handling, all this stuff. All of it, yeah. All of it. I'm gonna go basket, I'm gonna go basket on that one. Um, speed, see now that's where we're ding 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 ding, because I know Bass Cats hit some serious speed numbers, but they're doing it with like 400s, 300s. I don't think Phoenix has gone down that road yet, but if we're going 250 to 250, um, yeah, there's some Bass Cats that are screaming, hauls, fast, fast, haul. Um, Jesus, that's, that's hard to do, that's hard to do. Um, Speed, just because of the consistency of the Phoenix, I'm gonna go with the Phoenix. Just because of their, it's just like, that's the, you know what I mean? It's like you can get in there 20 or 21 and it's just gonna be that, that. I'm gonna go with the Phoenix on that one. So you've got a cat on one and you got a bird on the other. You gotta run these down over here. Kitty cats over here. Yep. Like, and then over here. All right, we're on build quality. Build quality, right now I'm gonna go to Basket. That did not take me long. Basket build quality is better. Um, they build fucking Sherman tanks. They build boats that are built for a long Um The quality is really good. I'm not saying that Phoenix doesn't, but if we're laying these two out, I mean, you're laying some top guns against each other here, guys. I mean, they got muscles out, they got tattoos, and they're ready to kick your ass. Essentially what these brands are doing. Um, so, uh, build quality, I still gotta go with basket. The only thing I just don't like about the whole concept of build quality, if we add rigging in there and how we gotta go back after it, you know what I mean? There's really not a lot of boat companies that look at that point. They don't take the time to be like, all right, this has gotta come out of here. At one time, this is gonna fail. It's no fault to us, but it's gonna fail. Is it gonna come out of there? They don't look at that. They're just like, it looks cleaner this way, let's do it that way. Not always the best idea, okay? Not always the best idea. So if we're gonna put build quality with that, I would say Phoenix gets the edge on that one because Phoenix has come apart a little bit easier. Now, some of the newer Bass Cats have kind of figured that stuff out and they've changed it to where you don't have to take the control box down and rip it through the front and redo it that way and do sort of pull it through. Yeah, they just, they, they redid it. They put the panel in where you take out five or six screws and the whole thing comes out and makes the world a whole lot better. Um, but if we're not gonna put that in there, then build quality still goes this way to cat, so. Um, fish ability. The fish ability portion, I'm gonna go with Phoenix. Phoenix has a huge front deck. Some people don't like the way the cat's recess is laid out. It's just not in the right spot. Um, they got that extra little thing for their their depth finders or their fish finders or whatever the hell you wanna call it, their HDS models, their hummingbird, whatever the hell you're gonna put in that hole. 
Okay, some people don't like that. They don't like how it lays. It says, some people say it sits too far forward. They like it back a little bit more. They can't do anything with it. So that's where I'm saying fishability comes, definitely gonna come to um, the bird. Uh, ride, I have ridden in a, a lot of bass cats and I've ridden in a lot of phoenixes. And when I drive them, I can almost make them ride identical. Um, I would say the cat probably gets a little bit of edge on this. I think because they weigh a little bit more. It's probably a little bit more weight and they distribute the weight better um, with their saddle tanks and stuff like that. They, they have a very, very handling, well handling boat. No matter what kind of conditions we're in, they, they handle it really well. Um, but there's nothing against Phoenix on that. The Phoenix does, does do a good ride. Um, let's just jump to resale. Resale, I think right now Phoenix is going to beat them just because Phoenix sponsored everything in the world. They marketed that boat really well. Really, really, really well. I think you could sell a Phoenix like snap of fingers if you had the right size and the right power and all the right gadgets and gizmos on it to make it look like the Taj Mahal of what's going on. Um, so I'm going to say resale. I'm going to go with the bird. Um, we've got crying babies in the shop. Crying babies in the shop. Jordan, your kid needs some milk. Um, trailer quality, I'm a fan of the Bass Cat trailer. Literally have never really seen many problems with the Bass Cat trailer along the lines. They have, they've always taken it to the next level when it comes to rims and fenders. They've always taken it to the next level to changing up the fenders and making it go with the boat, the flow of the boat. Um, the Cat itself, uh, definitely trailer wise. I've done a lot of work on some Phoenixes, whether it's, um, we've done complete electrical overhauls, we've done a lot of brake cylinders, and that's probably no fault to them. They're not building the trailer, you know what I mean? It's probably outsourced. I'm pretty sure it's outsourced. And um, it's just, you, you end up doing a lot more to that. And it, it, the Bass Cat, everybody knows when a Bass Cat rolls by. Even a Bass Cat trailer rolls by, you know it's a cat trailer. You know what I mean? If, there, if we had no badging on it at all and we'd roll a Phoenix trailer by, you, yeah, maybe. But if we had no badging on a cat trailer and it rolled by, I'd know it's a cat just because of the wide tires, the cool rims, the cool fenders. They just do really good. You know, the first people to put the hang on, grab bar, single step type of things. And yeah, those broke. They didn't build them good enough, but they fixed it. So yeah, here we go. Cool factor. Sitting on the trailer or on the water? No, do each. On the trailer cap in the water Phoenix. Um, the only reason I say that, the Phoenix kind of looks sports carish in the water. The cat looks like a $100,000 boat all the time on a trailer. Um, both of their gel coats are really good. I think Cat kind of takes it a little bit on the gel coat quality and the finish, the final finish, you know what I mean? Like when you get there and the lights are on it, it looks like you can see through the boat, like it's 10 layers thick and it just looks deep and they got all the right color matches and stuff like that. Um, Phoenix, you know, they just, it's, the thing that kind of bothered me about Phoenix is the, like you, you take the control panels off and it's just, there's a lot of wires and it just doesn't look as clean as it should sometimes. Um, same with that the dash, and I'm not saying that's bad. It's just that maybe how they how they do it. You know what I mean? I've never really had that instance with a cat. Um, it, it's always clean, meticulous, and well built, and like they make sure when it's when the customers coming to get it that things are done correctly. It kind of gives me a when I went to Icon, the Icon feel how everything is like. We need to be professional about every inch of what goes on. I believe Rick Pierce started that when he be began what he did. It's like this has to be perfect. Now, not everything's perfect because they're being built by humans. You know what I mean? Things can get skipped. Things can get mistakenly run incorrectly and stuff like that. And everybody's had bad problems with every boat, I'm sure, out there. That's just the nature of it. You know what I mean? It's just the nature of what we do. They're built by humans and uh, sometimes we screw up and it's okay as long as we fix it, right? Yeah. Um, so at the end of the day, I would say the cat probably I think the cat won this battle. Did they not? Yeah, the cat definitely won this battle. Um, it's not. It's not easy for me to say that. I, I'm not. A, I don't hate Phoenix by any means. Phoenix still makes a great boat. Um, but I think cat is. And you didn't. I mean, I know there's beep 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 stuff with their buttons and stuff, but we don't see a lot of BCM problems or a lot of switch panel problems with cats. Um, and I like the idea that Phoenix is still just switches when it comes to that. So I mean, that edge of it would probably um, clean and fit. Probably cat would get that though. How clean they are, how nice they are. Council-wise, I would put the I would put the edge towards the 
Um, Phoenix, I like the Phoenix Council versus the Cat Council. The Cat Council has always been a little bit big for me, um, but it's very versatile. It's a very versatile council when it comes to um, versus who's sitting there and who's driving. Uh, both have great legroom for taller guys like myself. I think there there's no lack of legroom on either boat. Quality is, is there. It's not like I don't think either company is skipping a step. I just think Bass Cat at the end has probably got a little bit more quality built into it. A um, little bit stronger boat. Like I said, it, it seems like their gel coat, their their metal flake just always seems to be really, really good. You don't see many blems in their boats, and I don't see many blems in Phoenixes either. Um, I've never really seen a fully stress cracked out Bass Cat. I have seen some stress cracks in some Phoenixes, but Phoenixes customer service is, now this is something to take into consideration when we're doing a brand battle. Their customer service is great. They've always, they've taken care of us every time when it comes to fixing the boat or they need a repair or they got a, a pro here or they got a tournament here and there's a problem and the customer's under warranty and there's no Phoenix dealer anywhere close. They've literally taken care of their their customer and taking care of us to do the work. And it's um, That's really unheard of in today's world because everybody's so stuck on, um, we need 97 dealers in 94 towns so that way we have it covered everywhere we go. And sometimes the, some of those dealers just aren't set up the right way to do it and you're kind of just over doing it but i think phoenix looks at it like i gotta take care of my customer because my customer bought that boat so that it's huge props to phoenix when it comes to that now bass cat did the same thing for us a couple times they paid us to put some stuff together for them or fix a couple things that were small uh, micro stuff but um I, I think phoenix when it comes to some customer service things i think they're probably just a little bit ahead of them uh, when it comes to that but I think Cat's going to win the battle, though, when it comes to performance, speed, build quality, fishability, ride, resale value, trailer quality, and cool factor. Um, I, the cool factor is like a split, though, but I think Cat still is going to win this this battle, just because it's how how it's laid out. I got one. Live wells. Live wells. Who has a better live well system? Cat runs that triangular one, that small one. Um, I don't think they lose a lot of fish in it. I really don't, because they sit kind of like this. You know what I mean? So they're always sitting like this, less this than getting sloshed around. They just pivot. Um, it's hard for me to say. It's hard. I've never really fished in them. You know what I mean? To put the fish through the test, like the heat, the fucking ride, the yeah, that'd be a good one for people to comment for sure comment on that for sure and let people know about um the live well situation but what do you think who's got the better live well and why put it down here why not just because you own one but maybe because you know i lost a fish and but i was able to bring them back that type of stuff or you know i've had my live wells for my phoenix run for all day and never lost a fish well timed well operated everything like that um Besides that, I can't really, uh, I can't really give you the justification on it, Jordan, because I've never really used the live well. Um, I, I like the idea of the triangular one. I like that. I like their thought process there. I don't know if it's successful or not. I haven't heard of anybody complaining about it, so it must be pretty successful. That's it. That's all I got for you then. That's brand battle's over with. Um, Cat gets the win, but the Phoenix is still swooping around for sure. It's not, it, I can't tell you it's, I would own either one of them if you're going to ask that question. I would have zero problem owning either one of those boats. Um, I just think they're probably some of the top boats made today. They're really good boats. So that's how I feel. Got anything else? Nope. Nothing. <laughs> what about next one? What about Icon versus Camus? Icon versus Vexus? Yes. Camus? Icon versus Vexus. Vexus. Icon versus Vexus. If you like that idea, comment below and say, yeah, we want Icon versus Vexus. That I think will be a good one. We should run two brand battles back to back because we haven't had these in a while, just to reward some people. That's what we're gonna do. Next week's video, if Jordan doesn't use what we just did, um, next week's video will probably be Icon versus Vexus. This is gonna be good. Back rooms included. Yes, 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 yes. That's what we're gonna do. Comment if you like that video. Comment if you're doing anything with them live wells. Let us know if you got a basket. Let us know how long you've been running. Let us know you got a Phoenix. What tournaments you're fishing? What's going on? What you're doing? That's what we want to do. Get the communication going so the people that don't, this is your time to sell your Phoenix. Time to sell your cat. 
not literally sell it, but tell them why you have what you have. So that way you can go promote your products. That's all cool. Do it down here. Make sure you're commenting. Make sure you are subbed up. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure your ex-girlfriend, your ex-wife, maybe your mom, maybe your ex-mother-in-law is subscribing because we need them subscribers. Um, and make sure that at the end of the day, you're just clicking that little notification bell. So every time my ugly mug gets on there and I get to do a little bit of swearing and a little bit of fun on your time, I appreciate that you know that ping is going on. So that's what I got for you. The brand battle is over. Cat with the victory. That's it. That's all I got. Jordan, anything? Merch? Um, same stuff, different same week. Stuff. Same stuff, different week. Nothing new. All right, that's what we got. That's it. It's over. I'm going to grab some Dots pretzels, grab myself a Pepsi, sit down, put my feet up, and enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you do too. And as always, comment, subscribe, and click notification bell to witness the madness that I hope Rick Pierce is sitting in his chair right now after watching this video and screaming out loud, speed, money, no brakes, fast cat wins. I'm out. See you.